Are the judges ready? And timer. Then let's begin. The kick drum, the snare drum, the cymbal, and the hi-hat. These are the classic sounds of a drum kit. Even with all of its remarkable sounds, though, a drum kit is very hard to transport from place to place. I, however, have this amazing drum kit that I can bring wherever I go. In fact, I have it with me right now. Let me show you. For those of you who aren't familiar with my drum kit, this is beatboxing, a way of producing percussion sounds with your mouth, lips, tongue, and voice. Beatboxing-like techniques have been used in blues, ragtime, and American folk music for the past two centuries. It wasn't even known by this name. Technically, it was known as vocal percussion, and many well-known artists in the late 1960s used vocal percussion. Artists such as Paul McCartney and Pink Floyd. A couple jazz artists, such as Bobby McFerrin and Al Jarreau, have been known to use vocal percussion also. Even Michael Jackson, the king of pop, used vocal percussion extensively in his work. He was known to record himself making vocal drum beats and then use his recordings to create demos for sound engineers and producers to hear. He made demos in this manner for songs such as Billie Jean, The Girl Is Mine, Beat It, and others. The term beatboxing is derived from the word beatbox, a name which was given to the first generation of drum machines that were created in the 1980s. And it was during this time that some pioneer beatboxers rose to fame. And just to name a few pioneers, there is Doug E. Fresh, who could imitate a variety of drum sounds and sound effects with his mouth. There is Buffy, a rapper who perfected many techniques used in beatboxing, and Razelle, who could beatbox and sing at the same time. My personal favorite pioneer is Kenny Muhammad, who is also known as the Human Orchestra. He is known for his precise rhythm and for pioneering the beatboxing sound known as the inward case snare, which sounds like this. Today, Beatboxing has been used in many different ways. Acapella groups, groups that do not use musical instruments, such as pentatonics, have utilized beatboxing in their songs. Movies like Pitch Perfect and TV shows, like the Sing Off and the uh, American Idol type competition for acapella groups, have popularized beatboxing even more. Um, there are other kinds of beatboxing have emerged, such as flute beatboxing and cello boxing where a person plays the flute or cello while beatboxing at the same time. There are even videos on YouTube that teach the viewer how to beatbox. One of these videos is called Boots and Cats, and it has over 4 million views on YouTube. Even Alexa and Siri, Amazon Echoes and Apple's intelligent personal assistants, beatbox the phrase Boots and Cats when asked to beatbox. <laughs> Either way, thanks to today's innovations, we can now say that vocal percussion has become the outstanding phenomenon we know as beatboxing. Now, beatboxers have a massive repertoire of sounds to choose from that range from the kick drum to the throat tap. <laughs> For the sake of this speech, I cannot show all the sounds a beatboxer can make. However, I can show you how I make six percussion sounds that I like to use when I beatbox. They are the kick drum, the hi-hat, the PF snare, the inward case snare, the outward case snare, finally, the throat tap. Let's start with the kick drum. If you had a drum kit, the big drum on the bottom that you use with a foot pedal, that is the kick drum. To make this sound, I think of the letter B. Then I try to stress its beginning B sound, like this. B. And that's how I make the kick drum. Now let's go into the next sound, the hi hat. Let's imagine the drum kit again. Next to the drum kit, there is a part which has two horizontal symbols which open and <coughs> close. That is the hi hat. To make this sound, I think of the letters T and S. Then I quickly crunch my teeth, push out with my tongue, 
and combine the sounds together, like this. And that is the hi-hat. Now for the snare drum, or simply, snare. There are several different kinds of snare drum sounds in beatboxing, one of which is the PF snare. To make this sound, I think of the letters P and F. Then I combine those sounds together, and while stressing the P sound, I forcefully push the air out of my mouth and lips. People have also substituted that F sound with an S sound, or with an SH sound. And that's how you make the PF snare, hence the letters PF in its name. While the PF snare utilized the lips, the second variation of the snare, known as the inward K snare, uses the mouth. To make this sound, I think of the letter K, and then I put my tongue to the roof of my mouth. And while breathing inwards, I say the letter K and shorten its sound. <coughs> and that's the inward K snare. There's also another version of the K snare called the outward K snare. And to make this sound, I simply say the letter K and try to stress its beginning K sound. And that's the outward K snare. And finally, I'd like to show you one of my favorite beatboxing sounds, the throat tap. This is just a fun sound that beatboxers like to use every once in a while. To make this sound, I make a tone, like a note on a piano, like this. Uh, then, I use my fingers or hand, and lightly tap my throat. Uh, 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 uh. And finally, I make the note lower or higher in pitch as I tap my throat. Uh, and that's how I do the throat tap. So now we've learned how to do the kick drum, the hi-hat the PF snare, the inward K snare, the outward K snare, and the throat tap. However, as some of you may know, drumming is not only about making sounds. It's also about keeping a steady rhythm and tempo. This is where particular word phrases can really be useful to a beatboxer. I mentioned one of these phrases earlier in my speech, boots and cats. With this phrase, I replaced the B at the beginning of boots with the kick drum sound. Then I replace the C at the beginning of cats with an outward K snare. And finally, I replace the TS at the ends of both words with a hi-hat sound. And then I say the phrase. But instead of saying the phrase normally like this, boots and cats, I say the phrase like this. By repeating this word phrase, and using some of the other sounds I've shown you, along with other sounds, you can turn boots and cats into your own beatboxing pattern. To conclude, I will show you what you can do with the phrase boots and cats. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.